Okay, the next talk is from Boris Barak from Cessnet, and he's going to talk about open, open regular companion tools. Thank you. Uh, good morning. So I'm, I'm from Cessnet, which is the Czech national uh, research and education network provider, as well as uh, computing resource provider and uh, storage resource provider. And I would like to introduce a few tools we have developed to work with our, our Open Nebula, which we used in our private, private cloud, cloud we offer to, to users and to, to researchers. Uh, so I will quickly run through smaller tools and then I will introduce two larger tools which are uh, more, more interesting to talk about. Uh, of course, we need to, to monitor our, our infrastructure, so we developed a set of uh, probes which we called Nagios Promo, and they basically monitor the health of our open nebula, checking the IPC service, uh, periodically launching virtual machines and checking for, <coughs> checking for success. Uh, we also encountered uh, a few inconsistencies inside our data stores, so we have tools that periodically check uh, files actually stored inside the data store with metadata in Open Nebula and perform necessary cleanup. In earlier versions of Open Nebula, uh, we needed uh, we needed a tool looking for zombie virtual machines. Of course, with uh, developments in Open Nebula, this is no longer needed, and uh, the one zombie finder is right now basically a notification tool. So as long as, as, as soon as Open Nebula will notice a zombie, we will just receive an email and, and we, can, we can deal with that. Uh, one table terminator, this is also um, the tool we used earlier on uh, with Open Nebula 4 uh, because it was a bit unreliable when cleaning up uh, IP table rules, so we had an extra tool checking and cleaning up. Uh, we've been running Open Nebula 5 for more than uh, more than half a year now, or three quarters of a year, and this issue seems to have disappeared. So, great job, guys! This is no longer this is no longer necessary. We also experimented with uh, capturing and cloning Open Nebula's monitoring traffic for external for external databases. So we uh, prototyped the the one snooper server, which is basically an uh, a, a server capable of capturing Open Nebula's monitoring traffic and storing it in, in Mongo or a MySQL database for further analysis. Again, this has proven not to be, uh, not to be something we wanted to deploy in production, so it has been discontinued. But it's still available if someone is looking for a similar solution or you would like to, you would like to see how, how that works. Uh, talk to me afterwards and I will, I will uh, show, you, uh, show you the details. Uh, so let's move uh, to more interesting tools. Uh, since we are running uh, multiple open nebulas in multiple setups, uh, we need uh, image, image propagation or appliance propagation. So we have uh, quite a wide uh, user base and we need to provide a sample or example appliances so everyone has the same, same image available in the same configuration. So we developed a, a number of tools dealing with appliance propagation. Uh, as, as you can see, as you can see on, oh, I will try this. Oh, it's not working, so I will use my mouse pointer. So uh, here you can see the official repositories for vanilla distribution images, Ob Ob uh, Ubuntu, Debian, CentOS. Here is a tool we developed called uh, Image Master, which downloads. Mm -hmm. images from official repositories and performs minor changes. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to insert branding or change a configuration file, this is done, this is done here. Images are not instantiated, it's just in place editing and, uh, and switching files, so this is for minor changes only. Uh, image Master will then generate a signed image list. It's cryptographically signed, so it's trustworthy for consumers. And then it goes further to a tool called Cloud Keeper which is meant to consume this image list, uh, make necessary conversions and subscriptions to various, various image lists, and uh, converted uh, images are then pushed to CloudKeeper Open Nebula, CloudKeeper 1, which handles uh, uploading images to Open Nebula, registering templates, updating templates, updating metadata, and cleaning up when new versions are available 
So the old ones are automatically expired, and as long as uh, no virtual machines are running from them, they will be automatically, automatically removed. Uh, if you would like to see how CloudKeeper is working internally, uh, it's uh, as the previous uh, figure uh, shown uh, has shown. Uh, it's uh, composed of two two separate components. It's the core component, CloudKeeper, and then CloudKeeper one for for Open Nebula. And the first component will simply uh, download images, convert them, change from QCow to RAW, or uh, or from VMDK to RAW, perform necessary conversions. And then through gRPC, it will it will communicate with with the backend, which is platform specific specific for Open Nebula, which will then handle handle the details. And these were developed in such a way uh, that they can be deployed separately. So if you like container deployments, they communicate over the network, so they don't need to be. You can have one central CloudKeeper instance and multiple CloudKeeper one backends running with different Open Nebulas, and you can quite efficiently synchronize synchronize your, your appliances. These are the, the logos and the repositories where you can, you can find, uh, find these, uh, these tools if you'd like to deploy them or contribute or please, please talk to us. And the last link is a link to a GitHub gist uh, which basically the, the describes the whole, the, the whole deployment mechanism. It's pretty similar to what I have said right now. If you would like to read it or uh, think about it later, you can you can see it. You can see it. You can see it there. Uh, next problem we had is a virtual machine life cycle. So we have a largish amount of users because our cloud is an academic cloud. We provide you resources to 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 researchers and users and students. So we need to clean up after after some time. So uh, we have uh, a tool called Berta, which is the, the B letter in the left, left corner of, of the slide. And it's meant to, to handle expiration of virtual machines. So uh, Berta will, sta will start, start up, will communicate with our Open Nebula instance and set uh, scheduled actions on all running virtual machines. This action is configurable, but for us it's usually terminate hard to be really, really aggressive towards our users. Uh, so it will automatically set uh, scheduled, scheduled actions. And after some time, after three months, let's say, uh, these actions will be automatically executed. But since we, don't, we want to notify users before this happens and perhaps give them a chance to remove the action and say, OK, I would like to keep this virtual machine, uh, Berta will email them through a separate channel, ordinary emails, and users will get two to three weeks to actually remove the scheduled action. If they do, the machine is safe, and in the next cycle, it will be again scheduled for, uh, for expiration in three months' time. And if not, it will be, it will be automatically, automatically terminated uh, by Open Nebula. And this uh, has proven to be quite, you know, quite efficient and quite, uh, quite a good approach to, to cleaning up old virtual machines, because at least 20 to 30 percent of, of the resources were actually unused, and users in some cases didn't even remember they had virtual machines running. So that's quite. Yeah. These are these are add-ons. You can you can easily run and install on, on top of it. They interact with Open Nebula only via the API, so you can have them installed wherever wherever you you would like to. So uh, again, this is this is the logo, uh, and uh, that's the repository where where you can you can find find the tool developed by by one of my colleagues. So that's pretty much that, that's pretty much all, all from me. If you have if you have any questions, please ask now or catch me during the, the coffee break and I will I will talk to you. Thank you. Um, uh, we are from Sorsara, so we are yep. um, dealing with these kind of things. I think it's a wonderful uh, cleanup tool. <laughs> on the other hand, a uh, small question on where you get the email addresses from to send the emails. That's a, that's a very good question. Uh, we have, a, we have a, an internal identity management system called, called Perun, which, which handles uh, propagations. So uh, basically, our Open Nebula accounts are provisioned from this identity management system, 
and user templates are filled with metadata. So Berta will actually look into the user template for contact details and then email, email the user. So uh, if, if you can get uh, a, the, the user's email into his profile in Open Nebula, it will be automatically picked up and, and used for, for notifications. Maybe maybe I missed it, but is the tools open source or is it something that it's all it's all open source? It's all on GitHub, uh, mostly written okay. in Ruby. If, if okay. you are interested. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.